to the Pig and Whistle Tales from Azeroth. As always, here at the Pig and Whistle Inn in Stormwind, I go for a variety of subjects with regards to World of Warcraft. I grab a bottle or a pint, sit back and enjoy this week on the weekly... No, it's always a weekly episode. On the midweek episode, um, we're going to be going over the Rate My Dungeon series. And we're moving into TBC now with Hellfire Ramparts, the very first dungeon that you will encounter in Outland. Um, For me, it's one of the better dungeons in Outland. Uh, It's very iconic. It's a very quick and easy dungeon. But yeah, it's three bosses long, not long at all. Um, Three compared to, say, the previous ones. I mean, the past three dungeons alone had 15 or more bosses. Uh, That really does put it into perspective, doesn't it? Um, I think TBC dungeons are very much three to five bosses i think there's even one with like two bosses so they really did tone down the amount of bosses that are in an instance but they made them a bit more streamlined i think for tbc but yeah we have three bosses in hellfire ramparts it is located in the middle of uh hellfire peninsula uh who would have thought hellfire ramparts is located in hellfire peninsula um the d- layout of the dungeon is very very simple you cannot get lost in this it is a pure straight line through the instance uh until you get to the final bit where you can go straight on to kill a big dragon or you can turn right to kill the actual main boss of the um dungeon but no one ever thinks he's the actual main boss of the instance which is a bit weird um yeah it is one of them things um so yeah, it's very simple, the layout. The loot that you get in there is very decent. Um, Say you did WoW Classic and you did a lot of... A fair amount. You did like Blackwing Lair content. Essentially, the gear that you would get in this dungeon would probably be on the same level, if not better, than Blackwing Lair gear. Um, That's kind of just basing it off of what I remember the gear to be like around Blackwing Lair level um so if you're going into this straight from like classic leveling gear uh you will find a massive upgrade from all of the bosses by far did it get a revamp in cataclysm no is the answer to this they i think all uh instances after classic stayed the same from my recollection yes they did um So you're going to hear a lot of no uh, in the section of did it get a revamp. Um, But honestly, it's one of the more chill dungeons. It's a lot of XP for a very short time. It's very compact. So Stratholm, on the other hand, is the one that we did last week. Very much a longer dungeon, but you get about the same amount of XP. Say you were level 57. Uh, you'd get probably a level, a level and a half if you did the entirety of Stratholm. Now, say you're level 58, you would probably get, I say 58 because 58 is when you can first go to Outland. But um, you know what, let's just do it on the same level. Level 58, you'd probably get a level maybe uh, from Stratholm uh, in World of Warcraft Classic. If you're level 58 in and you go to Hellfire Ramparts, you're probably going to get about a level, maybe a level and a quarter. You get a fair amount of XP, uh, especially if you are... um, What is it? Rested. If you have rested XP, it is certainly much more of a chunk of XP than, say, Stratholm is. So it's very much worth it. The gear, again, is very, very good. Um, It's a lot better than anything high-end like dungeon wise that you find in classic uh it's kind of night and day in terms of the gear that you get from hellfire ramparts to uh classic essentially or well, yeah 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 so it's one of the better ones i would definitely rate it a 7 out of 10 it's a very solid dungeon the only thing that i can think of is that it could be a tiny bit longer um because of how simple it is, because of the amount of mobs that are in it, it makes it really profitable and useful to go in there and actually, you know, get your teeth sunk into it. But essentially, yeah, it's it's a 7 out of 10. It's no, it's not better. It's not worse than some of the others that have been given a 7 out of 10 uh, in the past. 
but that is it for this episode thank you all very much for listening uh do check out the twitch today i am starting stream around five uh, uh gmt with gmt yeah we're greenwich meantime now five gmt as i am participating in the third awc cup so would really appreciate the support over there as well as streams happening consistently uh all throughout the week and stuff so keep an eye out for them and uh, check out the patreon below to support the channel it will really help us out and uh, it helps me just know that you're loving all the content that's being produced but yeah once again thank you all very much for listening and go valor friend goodbye all <laughs>